All right, welcome to my channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message for all signs. It is the secret messages from your person. And I will be using the secret messages uh, from your person's deck that is available on my Etsy shop. I did create it with my own two hands and also the volume one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so keep in mind that this message may resonate with you in part or not at all. If that is the case, please remember all energies and time is fluid. So when you receive the message in your stream, it was meant for you to have it. Also, you can flip the signs and you can flip the situation. So if I'm saying that uh, I'm reading for you, so I'm going to say you, but it might be the other person. So keep that in mind. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber. All right. If you are a subscriber or not a subscriber, don't forget to hit that like button as it does help me out with the YouTube algorithms. Okay. If you feel led, you can comment on the channel. I just ask that you are respectful to myself and others on this channel. Okay. As you interact with the channel, it does help me pick up your energy by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Okay. I do believe in the power of the Holy Spirit on this channel, the blood of Jesus. Um, and that is because of my own personal experience. However, I do respect everyone else's beliefs. So do be respectful of mine and those on this channel. A special acknowledgement to my subscribers. Thank you for your love and support. Those who have been with me since day one and those who are new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please do subscribe as it does help out this channel, especially if something resonates with you. All right. Please do also share the video out so others can enjoy the content. All right. Let's get right into this message. I'm trying to keep it shorter. All right. Uh, let's start with the Kipper before we go into the secret messages. I just like the way Kipper comes out. What do we have? Holy Spirit. Mm. Okay. So we have message. That was the first card that came out. So you could be getting a message of good news with the number seven, which is um, a lucky number or a blessed number. Um, it is a number of completion, whereas God completed the earth um, in six days and on the seventh day he rested. Okay. Um, so we do have a telephone there. We have a pen and pencil. We have envelopes. So there is some news coming in. Okay. This news could be about um, a job. Okay. So you could be getting a new job. You could be seeing the number 734. If so, uh, check that number out. Um, I may even, um, yeah, just check that number out. Um, you could be 34. Um, you could be getting a message within seven days. You could be born on March 4th, which is Pisces energy, or April 3rd, which is Aries energy. Um, take it as it resonates. It's not for everyone. All right. We do have the wealthy man coming in. We can have January 3rd, uh, which is um, Sagittarius energy, or March 1st, again, uh, Piscean energy. All right. So you could be the wealthy man or a wealthy man could invest in your business. Okay. Or invest in your education. Take it as it resonates. You could be getting a scholarship. We do have sudden wealth here. So for those of you who are, um, uh, having a business or an investment, uh, this wealthy man could be investing into your business and that could cause you to have sudden wealth. Or maybe you took a stock tip because here um, is the old timey little stock uh, exchange thing um, that they used. OK, um, this is um, someone in a library um, or a bank. So this could be someone in a banking industry. Um, if it's library, it could be knowledge that's given to you that causes this sudden wealth. And we have seven, seven, seven here on this old timey slot machine. 
Okay. Maybe you're going to Vegas or something and you're about to hit it big. If you don't normally gamble, this does not apply to you. Do not go to um, a casino and say, well, intuitive, intuitive empress said I was going to hit. No, no, that's not what this is about. Okay. Um, you could be seeing 777. All right. Um, because these numbers are coming out, let me see if I can quickly find it. Um, the angel numbers deck, and I can. Okay. Because I wasn't planning to pull that up. Okay. Um, somebody that you're with. Um, this could be the occupation. A wealthy man could be the person. Um, secret messages. The the person from the secret messages. All right. Um, or you could be receiving a message from this person. Maybe they went into business and hit it big, and now they want to reach out to you. Um, I don't even know why I'm shuffling. I'm just looking for the one number. Uh, here, the angel numbers deck also is available on my Etsy shop. I know I say that a lot, but it is it is there. And if I don't say it, you won't know. So this angel numbers deck is available on my Etsy shop. All right. So we have seven, seven, seven. And that is you are on the ultimate spiritual path. Keep doing what you're doing and tap into your gift. OK, that's what seven, seven, seven is. And you will find sudden wealth when you do tap into your gift. All right. So that is that. Um, we do have 13. All right. 13. Your ambitions are divine and are valid. Forge ahead with vigor and experience. Positive change the angels, the positive change that the angels are bringing towards you. So continue striving forward. Okay. All right, I have um, the numbers that God led me to do, so I don't have all the numbers. I do believe I do have seven, though. Seven. All right, come on, seven. Lucky number seven. Where are you in the deck? Do, 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 do. And I do believe we had 13 as well. So I passed that by. That was on one of the cards. I did do 13 already. Goody. Okay. Um, so seven is in the angel numbers. Your path is aligned with divine fortune. You got fortune coming and pay attention to new opportunities. This is also a card of spiritual awakening, acceptance, introspection and manifestation there are certain things that you are manifesting at this time okay i'm gonna clear this off here um i just felt led to do the angel numbers i don't always even when i pull this out but i really felt that there was a message there for you so take it if it is for you if it is not spit out that bone okay so now we are going into The secret messages from your person. As I'm shuffling, if you would like a personal message, let me know by following the instructions in the description. Um, you can get it uh, from my Etsy shop um, as well. Um, as reaching out to me with the email or the telephone number, text, or call. For that, um, I am in the Atlanta area, and if you are as well, let me know, and we can set up a face-to-face -face session if that's something that you are interested in, okay? Also, if you would like to donate to the channel, that information is in the description as well, okay? Or you can hit the thank you button. We also do have memberships. Hit the join button, and you'll get exclusive content. All right, so we have my husband slash wife found out about you. So some of you could have been dealing with someone unknowingly or knowingly. 
take it as it resonates that this person was married they found out and so that's why they uh pulled back from you hmm the same person was married that says that they may have obligated me okay to them but my whole being belongs to you heart and soul um that might not may or may not be a comfort for you because they're with that other person whether they were married this person could have also had a child out of wedlock they're saying that their heart is broken um over you or your heart could be broken from this person okay not being there it says they want us to separate okay this could be the husband this could be the wife this could be other third parties okay um that that interfered into the situation um this person is saying they're thinking about you at this very moment or you could be thinking about them um regarding this situation this is someone um this could be your initials or it could be the initials of your person of e f g or h it could also be a nickname so keep that in mind this person is saying that they're here for you um i'm kind of not seeing that if they were married or they have somebody that want them to separate um, a baby mom and they're allowing that to come into the situation. Um, I am of the mindset that if a person is married, they need to um, in that situation, make sure that situation is all wrapped up before they um, start something new. OK, that's just my opinion. Um, this person is saying they're try tired of figuring out what you want to just tell them. For So for some of you, um, this person, may, you may not be separated from or they walked away because they don't know what you want. Um, now, that could be real or imagined in this person's head. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah. This is volume one still. Can I have one more to card? Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. That's that one card. And that came flipping out. All right. So this is someone with the first, last, middle initial um, or nickname initial of Q, R, S, or T. And that came flying out of the deck. This person really wanted you to know, or this could be your initials. Okay. Wow. I have this twice in the deck. And at the bottom of the deck, it says, I'm here for you. So somebody really wants you to know that they're here for you. All right. What else do we have, Holy Spirit? What are the secret messages from the intuitive communities person? These wanted to come out, so I'm going to take them. All right. Someone wants you to know that you're on time. This person may have a plan maybe they they move slow all right but they feel like that they're in the right timing with you okay not everybody is in um separation so your person you and your person could be together or dating or something like that and they have a plan and a time frame for what they're going to do um concerning you okay it says you change my perspective in many ways this is a hot and passionate connection for some of you OK. For some of you, this person is pissed off or you could be pissed off, um, particularly those of you who are dealing with the person who was married or had some other type of obligation. Um, for some of you, this person is realizing that they were a complete fool. This could be the person who um, had a child um, while they were with you. And they want you to forgive them. They want to come back. They want to move on with you. Now that's up to you. This person misses the conversations that you would have. Uh, for some of you, you have very deep, meaningful uh, conversations. Wow. Okay. Now, now they're getting the talking. Okay. Okay. You wanted to come out. Where are you? Right here. Nope. Okay. All right, I'm going to take this one because this one flipped over, okay, in the deck. 
Somebody wants you to let them go. Some of you, like I said, this person had another obligation. They were married and they want you to move on um, in your life because they may not be coming back. Okay. Or this is you talking to this person to say, please let me go. You have these obligations. I didn't sign up for this. Um, we're not going to be together. But some of you, trust has been broken. Okay. For some of you, um, you're in relationship and this person really loves you. They don't always say it, but they love you more than they can express in words. All right. For some of you, again, this is coming up again. You're not the only person in this person's life. This person can have multiple lovers. Okay. Male or female. I know it's females on the card, but male or female. All right. This person misses having morning sex with you or enjoys the morning sex with you. Take it as it resonates. All right. For those of you where it ended, this person is really sorry for how this ended. Okay. Um, there is a wedding ring on this paper. So for some of you, it could have been um, a divorce or the marriage is over because they are cheating or it could just be irreconcilable differences. Okay. Let's move on. Let's try to see if we can get into some of these situations here. Okay. I'm trying to get organized, y'all, because I know I had a secret messages from your person and I used a different deck and I knew I had these cards, but I could not find them in the drawers because I'm trying try to be organized. I have these in drawers <laughs> um, and everything like that um, just to have it. Um, where's my situations deck? Again, trying to organize. And I always out organize myself. I haven't used these cards in a while, so I'm going to um, use these. This is the uh, Mystic Black Rose Oracle. Um, this is on the Mystic Blue Moon Tarot um, site. Um, so I'm going to be using those. Like I said in another video, I do try to give credit where credit is due on the cards that I have just in case you're interested. I know I do have some readers that check out my channel. Um, like I said, there's enough room at the table for everyone. So I'm not really into that competition thing. And that's not even why I'm on here. I'm on here because the Holy Spirit sent me here to give messages to those who needed the messages. So all right. So the first card out is trapped. Someone feels stuck. Uh, maybe you feel felt stuck in a situation, um, but I feel like this is more of the person who is in a marriage or situation. Um, they feel like they're in a mental prison, locked down. Again, we have locked up again. Um, someone um, feels like they're missing pieces. You could have if this person was sneaking around, uh, wondering why this person was being detached. Um, Maybe you've locked your heart up and you need to loosen your heart for the person that's coming in um, and everything like that. Maybe the missing pieces was hard at first for you to move forward because you were trying to figure out the mystery. All right. Um, but you are going to be receiving a message, a phone call. We have message. Uh, we have call here. So you're going to be hearing from this person um, sometime in the near future. OK, um, having a conversation, talking this thing through, um, you could have unblocked this person. This person is unblocking you again with some of you. You have someone who was married. OK, and they blocked you because that person wanted you to cut them off. For others of you, this person ghosted you because they were noncommittal. They had other lovers. 
All right. This person is going to try to pull on your heartstrings. OK. Um, this person may even try to get you pregnant to entrap you or play with your feelings. OK, so be careful with that. This person is definitely coming in to pursue you. OK, um, they're going to be persistent. They're going to be hunting you down and resilient. This might be a surprise to you because they suddenly walked away, but this person could have picked up on the fact that you are about to have sudden wealth. For some of you, this person is very preoccupied with money and status and how they look. Okay. All right. So we have a magnifying glass um, for this person has been spying on you. Okay. Okay. Um, this person, um, you may be finding out the truth that they were actually married uh, for some of you. Um, for some of you, you're going to get confirmation that this person was not really for you. OK, um, for others of you, you may be trying to get proof of someone new coming into your life. Um, that they're really on the up and up because you what you went through in the past. Wow. OK. Hmm. Hmm. For some of you, this uh, this relationship was a roller coaster ride. Um, ups and downs, fast turns, um, adrenaline um, filled. All right. Um, this person gave you a rush of feelings and emotions. All right, but you found yourself trying to escape this situation or your person could be trying to escape a situation that they're in trying to avoid the situation pushing away like they did you now they're doing someone else um this person could be hiding um from the truth okay um this person had some really passionate times with you okay um this person may also have uncontrollable sexual desires okay um insatiable a hungry for pleasure, which is why they have multiple um, lovers here. Um, this person um, you could have trauma bonded with. Okay. So this could have been a karmic situation, toxic situation. Um, this person could have triggered your inner child wounds, um, causing you to attract toxic situations. All right. Hmm. Can I have two more cards and then we're going to move on? There's one. There's two. All right. Hmm. So this person could be uh, fuming with rage when they found out that you don't want to be with them anymore. Some of you have moved on to other relationships. Um. This person could have gotten angry if you didn't give them what they wanted um, sexually, financially. So be careful with this person um, because this person, for some of you, caused you a lot of pain, um, making you guarded and apprehensive, putting up a wall. Hmm. Yeah. For some of you, this person just needed time. Um, to get themselves together. Maybe they were try trying to fix their life. But others of you, um, you needed time to heal from this person. All right. There were some unexpected changes that happened here in this situation. Hmm. That's why I had to start with the Kipper. Because for many of you, this was not a good situation. Um, and God, Holy Spirit, most high wanted you to know what was going on in your life for you to keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry about this person here. Okay. Let's see what we can get from here. Okay. This could be someone, um, you could live in France. Um, you could be a French descent. You could have visited, okay? But some of you, there's a court case coming in that could be where your sudden wealth come in. So if you have a pending court case, this is um, 
what this is talking about. Okay. Um, this person had multiple intimate partners. So you may want to get tested or this person may need to get tested. Wow. Hmm. This person could be under spiritual attack. They could have a whole lot of soul ties or they could have picked up an entity attachment because of the people that they were with. Um, we do have the incubus and succubus spirit on the bottom of the deck. Um, that could be the attack or you could be um, having sleep paralysis. When you get up, you can't. When you wake up, you can't get up. That's uh, incubus or succubus attack. Um, you can look that up. Somebody that's connected to you and generally connected through a sexual encounter. So that you could have gotten that because of that. This one at the fallout, you could be of West African descent or this person could be or ancestry. Take it as it resonates. Mm. Somebody wanted to scapegoat you. So when this person was walking away, even though they had all kinds of situations, um, some of them had multiple lovers. Some of them were married. Um, they used you as a scapegoat and was saying it was your fault that they were walking away. Um, but your prayers are a sweet sound to the most high and they are being answered and you are going to get a divine connection. All right. So this could have been um, the catalyst for that and your spiritual awakening. Wow. This came out twice. Spiritual attack and spiritual attack. Attack. Somebody hated your spirituality. That could have been a third party. That could have been the wife. That could have been the person that you were dealing with. Okay. You could have been dealing with a Chinese man or woman or a Chinese man or woman could be um, involved. But know that you have a special delivery coming in. And we have in the present moment. This is your blessings coming in. The good fortune. All right. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'll put these back over here just to give myself some space. Hmm. Wow. All right. This came off in my hand. I was looking at it, but I wasn't going to pick it up because it was still on the deck. It says, um, you are going to have a sound mind, peace and love. For some of you, that mental prison that came out was this person trying to have you in a mental prison. We live in a spiritual world, okay? So everything is spiritual. So this person could have even saw your spirituality and was trying to steal gifts from you, um, was just upset that you had this spiritual life. So they um, sent a spirit to you. I've heard people say that even online, and that thing blew my mind. Um, yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. Okay, guys. Um, this is about your mental or physical health. There was an attack to your mind, um, but you're on the right path. Holy Spirit says, keep going. Okay. The most high is proud of you. Hmm. This is why you're getting that special delivery. This person wanted to project their insecurities on you for some of you. Now this person is stalking you, trying to chase you down. Wow. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Let's get some songs or something. Holy Spirit, we'll see what we have in this deck. And we're going to be wrapping this up with these cards. We're going to end here with this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video out. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take these because a lot came out. Um, it says take a bow. By Rihanna. Um, How about a round of applause? Standing ovation. Somebody was putting on the show. Um, and this was a song about someone um, cheating. And Rihanna was putting them out. Was like, nope, I'm done. You only crying because you got caught. Um, well, she said, you're so ugly when you cry. But you're only sorry when you got caught. Someone was taking notes on you, or maybe you have a diary where you write down your feelings, or maybe you should get one. Um, I do have a um, notebook um, on my, my shop. 
that's under this video. So you can purchase that there if that's something that you want to do. Maybe you need to write down some dreams or whatever. Um, Without a Woman by Trey Songs. So some of you have left or this person is coming back because their wife um, walked away. Or the people, and I got confirmation, the people that they were with, the multiple women, are no longer around. All right? <laughs> we have Good as Hell by Lizzo. And uh, the song is, if he don't want you anymore, then walk your fine ass out the door. All right? So this could be a situation where the person, uh, secret messages from your person, this person doesn't want you anymore. And they've been showing you in their actions, even if their words said something else. And it's like, you find as hell and everything like that. Walk your fine ass out the door. Okay. Or you're handsome. Well, men can be fine too. So however that situ situation is without a woman, without a man or whatever. Um, so this person is just coming back because they don't have anything. We have, we haven't finished yet. So for some of you, you have unfinished business with this person or this person feels like you're not over them and they can just walk back in. Um, that is not the premise of the song from the five heartbeats, but that's what I got, got from that. Okay. Um, this for, for some of you, this person is saying they want to make you feel their love, but I feel like it's more of lust with the ravenous card coming out. All right. You may be broken, but you are beautiful or handsome. All right. But some of you, this person wants you to come close or they want to come close to you. That's common and Mary J um, and Eve. Wow. God is trying to tell you something right now in this message for some of you, if this message resonates. All right, we have Close Friend by Little Baby and Gunna. All right, so um, check out that song. For some of you, you have implemented strong boundaries or you need to implement them. That's my little wall <laughs> that I try to draw. I'm not an artist, y'all, but I be trying. All right, um, this person has a lot of toxicity around them um, and everything. The person that you have to build a strong boundary with that you were once close friends with. All right. So this was more uh, than a romantic relationship. You were actually friends first for some of you. All right. We have amazing. You are amazing. And the scripture to um, back that up is, is Psalms 119 and one, uh, one, 139 and four. Wow. And we have weak boundaries. So some of you may have had weak boundaries and you need to build strong boundaries or this person feels like you have weak boundaries. Um, maybe you built up strong boundaries because you had weak ones with this person. All right. We have a Capricorn. All right. So you could be a Capricorn or this person could be a Capricorn. All right. Says you belong to somebody else. Again, that came up with the person that was married. DJ Loaf and Jaquay. Or Jacquees, something like that. Whatever. How would you say this man's name? Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, for some of you, this person belongs to somebody else. And you know it. And that keeps coming out. So for somebody, the person um, on your mind, uh, the secret messages from this person is they belong to somebody else. Whether you have known it or not, this will confirm something. I'm not speaking anything in there. So don't start talking to your person. If that's not something that you had on your heart before. Okay. I'm not trying to, I'm not here to break up relationships. Okay. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for joining me for this message. And I will see you again next time. Bye.